Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play The Last Door. Last time we completed episode 3, The Four Witnesses, wherein DeVitt broke out of his coffin somewhere in London, which is nowhere near Scotland. So how he got there is still a mystery. Um, and then after stumbling around the city, following a creepy guy through a bunch of dark alleys and solving puzzles for tons of different crazy people, we finally came across a theater where the crazy guy asked for his ticket uh, and he went in and apparently seemingly sort of joined a creepy cult. Um, I really hope you didn't, Devit. I really hope you didn't. Um, anyway, this time I guess we'll pick up with episode 4, Ancient Shadows. By the way, I apologize if I sound a little bit different. I apparently managed to get sick in the last 24 hours, but I really want to know what happens. So despite that, I'm going to push through it. Let's go, episode 4. Loading. Previously on the last door. After escaping from his burial, DeVitt finds himself in a cellar of London's darkest slum, the Old Nickel Rookery. In his pocket, he has a ticket for a show called The Four Witnesses. DeVitt walks through the misty streets, following a strange man who seems to guide him. He learns the legend of the Simurg, the King of Birds. Following its trail through a dreamlike land of fog, Divit finally meets Alexander, a member of the secret group Divit and his friends had at school. Alexander welcomes Divit and speaks of an entity called the Bird that has been called, calling them ever since the experiment they conducted back then. Ooh. There is no turning back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. What am I doing? Oh, this is horrible. What am I doing? I have made my mind. Uh... I'm ready. What am I gonna do to him? Go on, do it. No! Do it. No! 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 Do it! No! What have you done? Oh my gosh. This is getting so intense. So, am I gonna play as the doctor now? That would be cool. Maybe I can still save him. <laughs> I really want to. Special thanks, and off we go. God damn it, what have you done? What is this? Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky, and even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater, the veil separates the truth from the lie. Don't listen to him! The veil is a place to bit, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. Don't listen to him. He's creepy. You must find the door, as I did. Ugh. I don't want to look like that. The door that gives passage through the veil. It's that one that I couldn't open in Anthony's house, right? Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. 
I don't want to. I don't like you. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. I cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gall? Why, yes. The tragic event has been, has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of mac macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How is all this connected with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? What was DeVitt doing there? What was the cause of those awful deaths? Yeah, tell me about the cause. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. Are you telling me everybody in that hospital died? This is... That's really sad. What about Matthew? <gasps> no! What if he can't be with Juliet? Okay, what was David doing there? Many years ago, this St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr DeVitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Herr DeVitt was attacked, but survived. What happened to him, then? It seems the criminal was caught by Herr DeVitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried, tried to do the same thing to DeVitt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Herr DeVitt was hospitalized. What? Uh, the nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. I suspect you did not find Mr. DeVitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr de Witt within the coffin. An empty, hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Oh god, no. What is going on? Episode 4, Ancient Shadows. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. I don't want to go to his house! I want to punch him in the face and run away! David, what is your problem? The ancient castle of Pevensey rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned and has been a ruin ever since. Okay. Alrighty then. I don't want to go to Alexander's house. I want to punch his teeth out and leave. It may have taken all day, but I finally made it to Alexander's house, and just in time. Soon it will be pitch black. Okay. What's this? There is a large iron door, iron bar la latching the door. Can you open it? It is quite odd that the door was latched from the inside outside. And do I not want to go in there? Are we going this way or that way? I'm confused. Okay, so we are going that way. Can I go in the greenhouse then? I'm assuming this is a greenhouse. Yeah, a beautifully ca crafted steel greenhouse. It is old, but still in good condition. Devit, what are you doing? You concern me, man. Oh, it's dark. Okay, I guess we're coming back later. 
So he seems to lose his lantern every single time something happens. It may have taken all day, but I finally... Oh yeah, we already read this. Blah, blah, black. Okay. Um, what's this side gate? I thought so. It's latched. I can't open it from this side. Okay. The house lights are on. Someone must be home. That's probably not a good thing. Hello? No one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Hey, is it another abandoned house? That's great. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. Okay, well, that's nice for her. What's this? Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. No, I don't want that. I don't like that. A well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Okay, so I guess we have to find that first. Okay, there's footsteps upstairs. Can I go in here first? What's this? A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Well, that's creepy. Uh, it could be the Pevensey Castle, but in this painting, the garrison is not in ruins. Alright. Good for it. Is there more to this room, or is this it? It's a fireplace, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Does this lead outside? No. Where am I? An oil lamp. Yay! Hooray! Just some old bottles. Alright, fair enough. Let's see what's over here. Where he walked in. Can I read this? It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. October 12th, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupree has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which he, from which it seems, he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? October 13th, 1887. The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupree is, going, is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. What does that even mean? It looks like a diary of a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Probably nothing good. A pantry with spices and ingredients. Alright. Out of it. You are venturing where you really shouldn't be. Alright, we're outside. There's a... There's a cellar. <laughs> Wonderful. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Why is it always a cellar? There's always masks, and there's always cellars. Oh, I thought that was a person in the door for a second, and it scared me so badly. Okay, I wanted to search the greenhouse. Now that we have a lamp. What is that? What is that? Oh, is it a hole in the glass? This pane looks as if it had been broken from the inside. Interesting. A statue of an angel with its wings spread. Its head is missing. Great. That's not creepy at all. Oh dear, dear, dear. What are you doing here? Divit, can you go home now? Please? 
Okay, so there's just an angel statue in here that is missing its head. What's that noise? I don't like it. Stop. Okay, let's go back this way. Again, I thought that lamp was a person. Let's see, what's this? Oh, a well. But it's not working. An ancient stone well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Let's not go down. Oh. <laughs> of course. The rope has broken. I'll keep this end. Okay. What just fell in there? The bucket has dropped to the bottom. Do we need that bucket? I hope not. 